Annabel Markov says she doesn't want revenge, simply justice. In 1978, the Markov affair spread fear throughout the Bulgarian exiled community. After his defection nine years earlier, Markov became a broadcaster for the strongly anti-communist Radio Free Europe and for the BBC World Service based at Bush House in central London, from where he broadcast back to his old homeland. Markov's murder was straight out of a spy novel and seen as a chilling indicator of the Bulgarian Secret Service's reach and ruthlessness. Markov was waiting for a bus here on Waterloo Bridge when someone brushed past him. He felt a sharp stab in his leg, but at the time thought nothing more of it. Four days later, he died in hospital. A post-mortem found this tiny pellet in his body. It had been filled with poison and injected into his bloodstream with an umbrella converted into a deadly syringe. As the theory goes, former Bulgarian dictator Todor Zhivkov was infuriated by Markov's broadcasts and ordered the assassination. Bulgaria is still in communist hands, but Zhivkov is now gone, and with a more liberal climate, Markov's widow has flown there in search of the truth. I think that this really has to be cleared up before one can see a new Bulgaria, because it's a, a stain on its reputation. It was one of the worst crimes of the Cold War. Mrs. Markov has been promised a meeting with a leading member of the Politburo, but after 12 years, she concedes the trail to her husband's killer is very cold indeed.